Hey guys, welcome back to Hook Me Up Crochet. My name is Christy for those that are new here. And I just wanted to show you my progress on my yarnery <laughs> to take Krista's um, title or borrow it or use it or share it, <laughs> however you want to put it. But uh, for those that don't know, I'm just getting moved back into my original house in Tennessee after living in Atlanta for about two for about two years and so rather than run out and buy all new shelving that I don't have the cashola for I started thinking about all the different shelving that I already had and it's all mismatched as you can see uh, but me and my son and my daughter-in-law we just kind of stacked it all together up on this wall in my living room because that's the only place I had the space for it and I'm not done unpacking so but this is a, my work in progress and um overlook the mess I'm gonna pan over a little bit see that cake they're right here this shelf that's full of Karen cakes I need to quit running my finger in front of it and I still have boxes that I'm going through that have yes yarn paint box yarns I still have to put away uh, a few more cakes and such now that box over here is yarns that I don't want anymore um, you know some that I might have had duplicates of and you know I go through these phases with yarn and if I've used a yarn and used it and used it then I get tired of it I get bored with it and you know especially with the way the yarn companies are always coming out with new yarns. Um, so I end up with multiple skeins sometimes that it's just time to part with them. There's, there's nothing wrong with them, but it's just time to make room for something new. And I don't know if this is how this is going to end up. Uh, like I said, it's a work in progress, and I still have all this to deal with. So some things may end up being changed. I'm quite sure they will, but... For now, this is what we're doing. As a matter of fact, this basket right here is more than likely going to end up filled with the paint box yarns. Um, because the way, that's not a good use of it right now as far as storage. So, though it might look pretty having all the little mini skeins, it's just not function functional. And I've got to make it functional as possible. So, I can tell you a little bit about it. This small one right here is full of just, you know, your regular rough cottons. Because I bought all of these back in the day before we had our soft, I love this cotton yarn and the bamboo cottons and all that stuff. So that's basically, meh, it doesn't really serve too much function because I don't really use a lot of those anymore. Right over here in this basket, those are my lesser go-tos also because... Um, that's the worst to date yarn from Hershner's, which in my opinion is just entirely too rough, too rough. So it's like it's it's not so bad that I would get rid of it yet, but it's not so wonderful that I'm going to be reaching for it very often. So therefore having it, you know, stacked tightly in the basket is, is fine. Right here is Lovey, and I use that point correctly right here in this shelf. It's all that real thick levy, and I use that for um, trim on my hats and, um, you know, things that need trim. <laughs> a, a nice furry, furry trim. I don't know if you can see that. And there's different gauges of it. It's not all levy. There's just anything that would be classified as a, whoop, point down, as a, uh, a furry trim, you know, up on top. And then down here we have the line brand. Is it line brand? Or, ooh, I should know this. It's the faux fur. You know how they came out with the color, colors like coyote and wolf and um, and all that. Well, that's what the row, that row right there is. And then this row down here. I'm not going to call out everything I have. But like from there down is um, Big Twist yarns. Most of that's Big Twist with some Red Heart. And down here I think the bottom is Loops and Threads that I got at Michael's on a sale. 
Here we have DB and Y when they were doing the five colors to a bag for one dollar. Do you guys remember that? How many of y'all got in on that one? Um, I found out about it right when they first announced it, but I didn't get to, you know, actually make a purchase until it was almost all gone, huh? And that's that's not going to stay that way. Obviously, that's going to be filled up. That's going to be filled up. All my empty spots are going to be full by the time I'm done. Oh. Uh, these yarns, nitpicks. Yeah, that's what those are. I think that came from. I can't remember. It was the weirdest thing. I think I ordered it from We Cro We Love Crochet, or Crochet or Love Crafts or someplace like that. But the bands on the yarn says nitpicks. So that's what that is. And hope I'm not boring you guys to death. I wanted to sh also show you um, before I go my um poncho that my very first poncho that i made i finally got it finished problem is i've got no way of modeling it for you so i'm just gonna have to um kind of show you on the hanger hold on a minute okay this is uh my very first poncho that i made i'm real happy with the the way it turned out and it's a keeper i'm gonna keep it for myself and if we come over here, I'll show you the yarn I used. I think it's, um, you know, the Angora design that I got from Isharns just the other day. I did it, um, showed it in my Isharns unboxing. And I said it reminded me of um, uh, Apple Orchard, like going apple picking. And so my shawl, it took um, the body of the shawl front and back to too full on um, hold on a minute sorry to move around so much but um it took two full uh balls and then i used a third ball going around it to put the trim so that left me with one actually that's um after i put that third one on i had enough left over to make a hat so I made a hat right quick <laughs> and so I have the one left over the one skein let me get myself backed up here so that's it um as you can tell it's a I don't actually know a specific size but it's a XXXL <laughs> for an XXL girl because that's what I am alright guys um, it is uh, Father's Day hope all the dads out there are having a good one and I will catch you guys next time